Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski starting us off on this Friday morning shortly after 7 o'clock as a trough sweeps to the east, taking clouds with it. So we're going to clear up the skies for a little bit this morning before more clouds come in later on today. We are going to get some showers that will move in later on this afternoon. Um, could be as early as, you know, 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon, maybe even a little bit before that out towards the west. Tri-Cities, probably not much earlier than about 4 o'clock when we start to see rain chances move in. And the area I really want to focus on is going to be to the northwest here. These would be the areas I'm most concerned. While I'm not looking at a lot of heavy snowfall out of this quick moving disturbance that moves through later today and tonight, I think these areas could get a quick burst of snow that might put down a little bit over an inch of snowfall. So that'd be the area I'm most concerned about. Rain chances will continue to move through here as that disturbance passes to the southeast and rain will start to transition to snow this evening. Uh, 8 to 10 o'clock, I think, for the Tri-Cities, and we may get a quick dusting of snowfall out of this as that colder air comes in behind that cold front. By midnight, almost all of us done with the snow other than maybe in northern Kansas. It should be done shortly after that. Quiet to start things off tomorrow with partly to mostly cloudy skies to begin our Saturday. Colder temperatures on the way for tomorrow. A little bit of a northerly breeze going through our day Saturday. Starting to see snow out west tomorrow morning and into the afternoon hours. This should stay mostly west of the Tri-Cities during the day tomorrow, but then we'll start to move east and southeastward through the area Saturday night. This is probably the uh, one of two chances for the Tri-Cities to pick up a, an inch or two of snowfall. Um, I think as we get into Sunday here, and this is as far out as I'm taking this graphic, Sunday we may start to see more snow in the southern parts of the viewing area. Now, we're going to expand this model out a little bit here in just a bit. But first off, I want to focus on the snow just for this evening, later today and this evening. Snowfall amounts look to be fairly minimal, but I think somebody up to the northwest may pick up a quick inch of snow of snow uh, and may kind of catch you off guard a little bit because it could, could be a quick burst of snow. I don't think most of us will see that, but somebody has the chance to see that little quick burst of snow. Now we'll extend that view out to show you that model I was showing. Again, showing that uh, snow moving through Saturday and through Saturday evening, then kind of dissipating by early Sunday morning. Now, after that, this model kind of keeps all the snow to our south for Sunday and Sunday night. I do not agree with this one very much though here. And I'll tell you why, because this is our in-house model and it clears things out very quickly actually by Sunday night. I don't agree with this model though. We're gonna show you a couple of others that I would agree with a little bit more. Here's the European forecast model. Again, snow off to the west Saturday, maybe to the Tri-Cities at the end of the day Saturday and then Saturday night. And I'm gonna take this very slowly through, kind of pushing through overnight Saturday night. So into Sunday morning. And this is again, maybe an inch or two of snowfall, maybe a little more out towards the west. And then as we get into your Sunday, focus really turns towards Northern Kansas, and far southern Nebraska for what could be kind of a two to four inch kind of a snow through the day Sunday and into Sunday night and might even linger into very early on, on Monday, Monday morning before clearing out of here. This one's kind of taking a little longer to clear out the storm system though. Now the GFS forecast model, similar to that Saturday, most of the snow will be in the western half of the state. Although it really tries to push it in then Saturday night into the Tri-Cities, we'll take this back. This is midnight Saturday night, Sunday morning. So still mostly out west and then Sunday starts to move, Saturday night and Sunday morning starts to move it through. This could be kind of a one to three inch type snowfall here. Um, and then, then on Sunday, the focus really turns towards Kansas and Southern Nebraska through the day Sunday and into Sunday night. Although this model, the GFS model is now clearing things out a little faster than the European forecast model. It should be out of here by Monday morning and we'll see some sunshine try to return during the day on Monday. So right now I'm thinking kind of a good two to four inches for much of the area. Most of it that falls Saturday and Saturday night will be for the northern and western half of the viewing area. The, and that might include the Tri-City Saturday night. And then the better chances Sunday into Sunday night would be in the southern and southeastern parts of the local four viewing area where two to four inches are possible. So overall, I'm kind of giving a two to four inch generalization. There still are some question marks with how much. So this isn't a significant snow, but maybe a winter weather advisory type event that we could be looking at that could cause some small minor issues. We're not looking at major issues, not a lot of blowing snow. The winds don't look to be much higher than about five to 15 miles per hour. So blowing snow should not be a major concern over the weekend. Highs today, enjoy it. 40s, I did bring these down a little bit, but 40s, some lower 50s in the south, uh, maybe upper 30s up to the north and northeast. 
And then tonight that colder air starts to dive southward. So teens and 20s, coldest air up in the north and northeast parts of the local four viewing area. As we get into tomorrow, a colder day on the way. Highs ranging from the mid and upper teens up north and northeast to as warm as the mid 30s in the southwest, mid to upper 20s in the Tri-Cities. And then your Sunday, kind of similar 20s, mid 20s to lower 30s, maybe some mid 30s out west. So uh, another fairly chilly day, but not super cold out there for your Sunday. Beyond that, better weather is ahead. As the system clears out of here early on Monday, we'll start to see nicer weather come in for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, lots of sunshine going from the upper 30s Tuesday into the 40s on Wednesday. Still low 40s on Thursday with partly cloudy skies. The long range forecast indicating that we are going to kind of keep things on the milder side heading into the end of next week and into the following weekend. I think we will see some milder air pre-Christmas. Not super warm air, but slightly milder air now as we get into the pre-Christmas time frame. Uh, forecast model still indicating a big uh, chill coming in as we get past Christmas into the last week of the year of 2019 here. So we'll have to monitor that to see if that sticks around here. So again, while we are seeing kind of a, a little bit of a dicey weekend ahead, I don't think it'll be a major weekend. You'll want to take it easy on the roads when it is snowing in your area. Uh, again, first Saturday and Saturday night for uh, a good chunk of Nebraska. Tri-Cities more so Saturday night. And then the southern half of Nebraska and northern Kansas as we look at Sunday night or Sunday into Sunday night before clearing out of here early on Monday morning. So there you go. There is that forecast for today. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you all have a, a wonderful uh, weekend ahead of us here and I'll see you all again which on Monday which should be a return to some nicer weather following that storm system. And if you want any updates on the weekend weather of course download our local four weather app. Tim will have all the latest tonight and throughout the weekend. He'll be filling a kit throughout the weekend so he'll have more updates throughout the next couple of days. I'll update it later on today here but uh, uh, yeah, download that free Local 4 weather app. And of course, if you have any good pictures of snowfall totals and things like that, please submit those on those on the app as well. You can submit, submit those there and we can get those sent to us. So thank you all for watching. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. God bless.